You know what I'm talking about. Right. <laughs>Ah, we're messy, son. Good lad. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Blot Outdoor Show. Today, I'm back out on another stealth camp. There's been a lot of people asking us to do another urban camp. So, I'm gonna take a walk around some housing estates. And hopefully, we can find a good safe place to camp. I've got my little dog with us, Messy. He's going to keep me some company tonight. I've got a couple of ideas where I'm going to camp. Hopefully the first one's good enough. Um, I've got some nice food to cook, some pork chops and stuff like that. I've got some nice whiskey that's been kindly given to me. I'll tell you more about that later. And I've got loads of snacks. I'm going to talk loads of shite as usual. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, man, dingoes. Right then, guys, I'll bring you back when we get a bit further into the walk. Here we go. How is sun? Oh. So, guys, I'm just going to have a walk around for a good half an hour. As um, soon as I go around this corner here, We'll come to the little roundabout where I've done the smallest roundabout camp. That was the video that kind of made the channel take off about five months ago. So I'll show you that on my little journey. How are you? How are son? How many pisses do you want? So that's the little roundabout, guys, where I've done the the stealth camp a few months ago. Yeah, we'll cross, we'll cross over to it. We'll have a quick look. Nearly getting run over. Can you believe that I slept in there? How we? Let's get over here. Oh, messy. Over the road soon. Right, folks, I've already looked at one spot, but it was no good. There's too many kids hanging around. One of them even come over to stroke the dog, so that's just ruled that one out straight away. So I've got a second place I'm going to look at. Fingers crossed I can get in without getting spotted. Right. guys so I'm just in this back lane behind the pub and the pizza shop I'm gonna make a left turn here and then a right turn and that will take me over to some garages there's a gap in the corner with some grass hopefully I can get in there I've had a bit of a nightmare there them kids caught up with us and they were asking us if I was a youtuber so I've had to double round and walk round in a big circle, kind of get out the way because I don't want them following us. Right, here we go. Bring it back in a second, man, goes. Right, folks, there's the garages over there. As soon as you get round the corner, there's loads of houses. There's houses here to the right. There's 
loads of houses along there. I'm just hoping there's no one around. However, then, no point hanging about. Let's just go for it. I've still got a good hour of light left, I think. So if I do get rumbled, I've got time to go somewhere else. No one around. I'm just hoping and praying there's nobody looking out the house window. Because if one of these garages belongs to them, they're not going to want a, a fat guy and a dog dingo hanging around behind us. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. But look at that. I was thinking just there. But there's loads of grass here. You've got the school through the fence there, but there's going to be no one at the school. I'll tell you what. This is not bad. <laughs> little ding dang do for me and this little dingo. Ho ho, you better believe it will. Right. Oh. Caramel cap the dingo, can I beat it? Aye. As usual, I'm just gonna sit here and chill for a good half an hour. Enjoy a nice cap of dingo. If anyone from the houses seen us coming in, if they're gonna come over and check it out, <laughs> they'd have been over by now. But I'll still sit for another half an hour, <laughs> then I'll get the tent up, and then I'll show you all my gear, all my food and drink, and all I'll carry on. In the meantime, I might as well answer a question. A few people have been asking. It was when I mentioned before that I'm going to sit and chill out and watch a movie. So people were asking, what movies do you watch when you're in your tent? You know, when I'm not recording and I'm sitting relaxing. What are you doing, son? Um, so the kind of movies I watch, they're just like old action films. You know, like Bruce Willis, you know, like, um, like the Die Hard films and stuff like that. The old Arnold Schwarzenegger films, Commando. Um, John claude Van Damme, even Steven Seagal, I know he's shit, but that's the kind of stuff I like watching, just like the old action films. I don't really watch many new films that come out. If I do go to the pictures or anything like that, it's to watch something like what my son likes to watch. So, hi, I like to sit and chill out and watch the old action films. Hi. Ooh. Proper chilled out now. Relaxing here with my coffee. I think this is going to be a good camp. Um, I'll answer another question later on. Bring you back soon. Ho ho, yes. You know it makes sense. Right folks, time to show you my little setup for tonight. There you go, same as usual. Foil mat down, self-inflating airbed. I've got my old four season sleeping bag, my pillar. I've got loads of room there at the side for a couple of warm jackets for later. My down trousers and slippers to keep me nice and warm through the night. I've got my big rucksack down the bottom there. There's the bin diesel in the corner. Get all the rubbish in. And here's all me food and drink. Right guys, I'll show you me, me drinks first tonight. I've got four cans of Thatchers, but it's the, the blood orange ones I've got tonight. I've had these once before and they're absolutely beautiful. I've got some Dewars, Caribbean Smooth, Blended Scotch Waski. This is the, the rum cask finish. That should be really nice. There's about a third of a bottle there. Not quite half. That was kindly given to me from my stepdaughter, Brogan. 
and her boyfriend Carl. So thank you very much for that. Right then guys, I'll show you me snack roonies. I've got some chicken skewers. I've got a beef and vegetable video nasty. I've got some sweet and hot beef jerky. Sweet and hot at the same time. Oh, oh you know what I'm talking about, Mandingos. I've got a couple of coffees there. Some shortbread biscuits. And I've got some German meat and cheese selection. I'll share that with the dog. He likes a bit salami. Right, for my main meal, in the tin foil there, I've got some pork chops, uh, lemon and chilli pork chops. I've got a tin of new potatoes. And I've also got some sweet chilli and lime lice. Not, not Uncle Bensky. Ho oh, ho, don't get me started with Uncle Bensky. I'm absolutely cheesed off of him. He has let me down big time. If you can remember, guys, a few weeks ago he let me down when he went to Benidorm with the lads for the weekend and he didn't drop us any lice off and he's dropped us in it again. I mean, I'm supposed to have a contract with Uncle Bensky for free lice for one year <laughs> after I done the video which was sponsored by Uncle Ben's uh, the TP camp a few weeks ago, a few months ago. This is the second time he's dropped us in it. So I've left him a message. I've told him, Uncle Bensky, sorted out my son, or I'm just dropping you from the channel. I'm not going to give him no more shout outs. <laughs> what the hell am I talking about? <laughs> oh my God, what an idiot. Anyway, guys, I'm going to have a nice meal tonight. Chops, lice and taties. Ho oh, ho, you better I am. Lice. Mercy. Why are you bonny? <laughs> Go on, son. Go and lie down. Good lad. Snack time, man, dingoes. Some salami and cheese. This is what I like to do. I get two slices of salami, a slice of cheese in the middle, another two slices of salami on the other side. Mmm. Well, yeah. tremendous. Yeah, messy some. Good dog. Sharing it with Messi. You know what makes sense. <laughs> there was a guy messaged after the last hairstyle camp and he said, How come would you always take meats and cheese and but we never see you eating it? Like I said to him, I can't video everything. If I go for a dump in the woods, I don't video that. But um <laughs> Funny joking guys. No, but seriously, I can't video everything. But for you, mate. There's me salami. Eating it in the video. I hope that keeps you happy, Mandingo. Oh, and one more thing. You'll have noticed the intro at the beginning of the video. The photograph on it is different and it's miles better now. So I want to say a big thank you to Tim Adams who's done that for me. He contacted us and offered us the the photo for free, which it's brilliant. It's it's better than the previous one. Cheers, Tim, mate. Much appreciated. Right, I'm gonna finish the rest of this salami off. Share it with Messi. Hmm. Lice. Oh, messy.
Our son. Cheese man thing goes. Just on my second can of Thatcher's blood orange. Really nice it is. I might as well answer another question eh? Pass a bit of time away. Aye. So there's a few people ask me this over the last few weeks. And the question is, what YouTube channels do I watch? Um, I watch absolutely loads. The first couple I started watching a few years ago when I was getting into the hiking in the Lake District and wild camping, the first ones was um, Alan Metalman Outdoors. I like watching Alan's channel and he's from the northeast of England just like me. I actually went out and done a hike with Alan. Uh, it was about this time last year, I think. That was a great day out. Alan, if you're watching, we'll meet up again sometime soon, mate, for another hike, if you're up for it. Aye. So, Alan Metalman Outdoors, his channel's good. Uh, MCM Outdoors, there's a lad called Chris, great lad. He runs that channel. He knows everything that you need to know about wild camping. He goes all over the place. He's done it. He's done it since he was a kid. So, yeah, if you're looking at getting into wild camping and you want to learn stuff and you want to know what you... You want to listen to someone that knows what they're talking about, don't watch me. Watch Chris at MCM Outdoors. Yeah, he, he has got a brilliant channel. Um, another one, it's his mate, Tony Noble. I like watching his channel, The Outdoors with Tony Noble. Tony's a good laugh, you get good crap with him. Um, some of the channels I watch. Matt Does Mountains, I like his channel. Des Green, I like watching Des out on his little hikes around in all different parts of Britain. He goes over to Spain hiking when he's at his villa. Um, a Tramp in the Hills, a guy called Steve, I like his channel, A Tramp in the Hills. I've watched him for a few years. Oh, my mind's going blank now. There was a channel I did used to like to watch quite a bit called Out and About in Scotland, Michelle and Spike. Um, for one, I don't know why it's not on YouTube anymore. So hopefully they can get the channel back up or, or start another one. I just like watching their stuff. There's a few more. <laughs> my mind's going blank, I can't remember. Um, I haven't had time, I used to normally comment on their channels and I haven't had time lately because I'm always playing catch up with the comments on my own channel. I'm always like lagging behind two or three days trying to catch up, which is brilliant. I love having people's comments to read and catch up with. So I am still watching all your videos. Guys, If just in case you think I'm not, I am still watching all the time. Um, some big channels, if you're talking like over 100,000 subscribers, I like watching Here's Outdoors. He's got a great channel, and he's like me. He talks a lot of shite in every video. Um, Paul Mesner, he knows what he's talking about. I like watching Paul. Um, if you're talking about a massive channel, like over a million subscribers, I love Steve Wallace in Canada. I love watching his stuff. Um... He's like the king of stealth camping, you know. He's the first stealth camper I watched on YouTube. So I took inspiration from him, you know, before I started stealth camping myself. I mean, I was already wild camping when I started watching him. But I watched him and I thought, well, I'll do a bit stealth camping like, but I'll do it in my style. I'll not copy off him. He hasn't been putting as many videos out lately because a few months ago his uh, wife, sadly, she, she suddenly passed away. Um, I'll not go into that, I've mentioned it before. But he's starting to get videos out more and more now. So that's great. Yeah, I know exactly what he's going through because I've gone through exactly the same myself years ago. But yeah, Steve Wallace, I love his channel. Tremendous. Um, there's a couple of fishing channels I watch, even though I'm not into fishing. I watch one called The Fish Locker. And I watch this other one called Smash Fishing. 
guy down on the island of Guernsey. <sighs> and apart from that, I just watch loads of random shit. I like watching stuff about history, you know, about World War One and World War Two, and just loads of random stuff. Anyway, guys, <laughs> that was supposed to be a quick question, and I think it's been on for over five minutes. Five minutes of me talking shit, as usual. <laughs> anyway, oh, dregs on that one. I think it's time for a nice little chest warmer because it's getting chilly. Oh, you better believe it is, man, dingoes. total sense. What does it smell like? Rough. <laughs> Fuck, your breath stinks. Oh, that's lovely, that. I'm looking forward to doing the world-famous Waski review later on, guys. Oh, it's only just after 9pm. So I've got a long night ahead of us still. I might as well answer another question. I wasn't even going to do another one. I was only going to do two. But, I'll do one more. A lot of people ask us, and they're concerned as well about me drinking, they'll say, all these bottles of whiskey you, you're getting given to you every week, are you drinking a full bottle every week? No, I don't. I don't drink a full bottle every week. If you notice, I always say, oh, I've only brought like a third of a bottle. What I do is, when I get a full bottle, I'll get an empty water bottle at home and I pour whiskey into the water bottle and then I'll bring like a third out, or half a bottle. And then um, when I get home, the empty whiskey bottle, I'll <laughs> get your words out, Chris, the water bottle with the whiskey in. I'll pour that into the empty whiskey bottle and then I'll, I'll keep a few whiskies so I've got, I'm building up like a nice little collection a collection dingo man dingoes <laughs> sometimes I drink the full bottle sometimes me and Mick will drink the full bottle or if I'm out with the two Chris's well the older Chris hasn't been coming out for months and months so it was always me and the younger Chris we'd do the full bottle between the two of us but the older Chris has started coming back out again now. So the three of us will drink the full bottle. But if I'm by myself, I don't bring a full bottle out when I'm by myself. And I don't actually drink much. I can't remember if I've answered this in a previous video. I've answered that many questions over the last few months. But um, I don't actually drink much. I think people think I'm a pisshead because when I make these videos, I'm always having a drink. I only drink one night a week when I go camping. I tell a lie. Sometimes on a Sunday night, I might have a couple of little shots of whiskey just to chill out and when I'm watching a bit YouTube and that, you know. But having a, a good drink one night a week, that's all I drink when I come out camping. So, and that's, I, I like drinking when I'm camping. It relaxes you. I know some people don't drink at all. They'll say, oh, you shouldn't drink much when you're camping. Aye, and aye, you shouldn't drink much when you're camping. 
definitely if you're up on the mountains and that, you know, you've got to have your, you've got to have your wits about you. But um, I like to drink one night a week when I'm camping, and when I'm at home, I just have a coffee. And the pub where my wife works at, if I go in there, I only have a black coffee. And the, the people I drink in there, I think them think I'm bloody teetotal. Like the law was saying, how come you're not drinking, Chris, when you're in a pub? And I just say, I'm not bothered. I'll have a drink on Saturday when I'm out camping. So guys, there's another question answered. I don't drink a full bottle of whiskey every week when I get these bottles of whiskey donated. I keep some for my collection. And um, don't worry about this, I'm not drinking too much. I only drink when I'm coming. <laughs> I've said that about five times now, haven't I? <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Right, man, dingoes, I'll bring you back soon. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, matron. Oh, messy soon. You good boy, aren't you? Right, folks, I'm in the tent now, getting nice and warm. It was getting very chilly outside, so I've gotten my sleeping bag. I've put my extra jacket on, my down trousers and my down slippers. I'm just warming up now, it's lovely jubbly. Messi is out for the count down there at the bottom of my sleeping bag. He's just been snoring. I'm in my last can with Thatcher's Blood Orange. Ah. So, man, dingoes, I'm going to finish this can. The old can sexual. <laughs> and when I bring you back, we will do the world famous Waski with you. Oh, yeah. You better believe who will man dingoes. Right. Oh, messy son. Let's get back in. Oh yeah. You know what time it is, Mandingo's. Waski time. And this week, this is what I've got. Dewers. Caribbean smooth. Eight year old blended scotch waski. Oh yes. Not much left. But enough, more than enough, for the world famous Waski review. Let's get that all poured in. The old famous cup dingo, man dingoes. Oh, looking forward to this. Let's get the old Baker Rooney in it. A strong rum smell straight away. Sweet and sugary, like brown sugar, and I'm getting some 
hints of pineapple there. Anyway, Manding goes, that's enough of the sniffing. Let's get on with the tasting. Lice. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Very nice. That rum taste, just like in the smell. It's there straight away in the taste as well. And some different tropical fruits going on there. Definitely the Caribbean thing. I read on the website about it, like a taste of caramel. But I'm not really getting that. I'm not getting the caramel taste. So I'm not just going to bullshit you and say that just because I've read it. But there's definitely rum and the tropical fruits. That's giving it a good fusion of the blended scotch and the Caribbean thing together. Fusing it together. Very nice indeed to do, Mandingos. And like it says in the bottle, smooth it is going down. Really smooth indeed. I'm not getting loads of different flavours with this. Just a, a lot of rum and a lot of tropical fruits, but that's enough. It's 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 a nice, simple, quality. 8 year old waski for a very decent price mm. and the fact that it's going down so smooth with no burn to the throat no nasty kick to it I mean I don't mind the kick I'm used to whiskey but if you're new to whiskey and you don't like it when it's too harsh. That is absolutely spot on. So I'm going to give that Jewers eight year old Caribbean smooth waski. I'm going to give it a very good 7.8 out of 10 dingo man dingoes. Mm -hmm. I'm getting that rum taste even more with a lovely sugary brown sugar sweet now in that the fruit there now I was getting pineapples in the smell at first but in them tropical fruits I'm now getting a, a little bit mango coming through a little bit mango dingo Anyway, I'm not going to slaver on any longer. That is quality. 7.8 out of 10. Jewers. Caribbean Smooth. Blend Scotch Whiskey. You know what I'm talking about, Mandingos. This is serious stealth camping. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay then, my fan dingoes. The plan dingo is we're going to get some scrand dingo, pop dingo in the old pan dingo. Oh, oh, yeah. You know what I'm talking about, man dingoes. Rice. <laughs> That's the lemon and chilli pork chops in the old pan sexual, guys. Just a little pansexual. I'll put the lice and the taties in the big pansexual. The 
with the new potatoes bubbling away now guys time to add the rice a couple of minutes and this meal will be done here we go guys sweet chilli and lime lice get that in We'll give that a couple of minutes and that'll be done, dingo man, dingoes. There you go guys. Lemon and chilli pork chops with, oh God, I can't even remember what the lice is called. Sweet chilli and lime lice. Uncle Bensky, if you're watching this, because I know you watch all the videos, you're on Thin Ice Mandingo. One more time, just one more time, you let me down, Uncle Bensky bait, and that's it. Me and you is finished. Anyway, guys, I can't find my knife anywhere. I've put it down somewhere. I can't find it. So, I'm just going to pick my pork chops up. Wow. Mm. <laughs> Tremendous. Let's get a potato and some lice. Oh, it's red up. Very nice. A strong, a strong lime taste to it, but it's nice. It's something different. It's not something I would normally have. The main thing, guys, it's a hot meal in the old ten dingo. Because once I finish this. I'll be popping outside for a quick slash garden and then I'll be getting in the sleeping bag. Watch something on my phone and just drift off. Oh, beautiful. Mm. I tell you what, man, this is better than being in any restaurant in the world and if you go camping you know what I'm on about Mandy you know what I'm talking about Mandy was can't even get my words out now too much cider and whiskey mm. I'll keep a bit for the dog well guys While I'm enjoying this, I'm going to take this time to see it. A massive thank you to everyone who has supported the Blood Outdoor Show this last week and bought me a coffee. Some people buy two coffees, three coffees, five coffees, some people even more. And it's, it's so kind of you. I know. Everyone's skint at the minute, aren't they? You know, the prices of everything's gone right up. So, for you guys to buy me a coffee and support this channel, it's really, really kind of you. And I, I do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart, honestly. Even if you're just watching the channel, and you give us a like, and leave a comment, thank you very much. I do really appreciate it. I'm just some duff shite. I'm just a duff bloke that works in a factory that likes to go out camping. And I can't believe that he's, he's enjoyed watching my channel. <laughs> it still hasn't sunk in. So thank you very much to everyone. But yeah, a massive extra thank you to everyone who has 
support the channel and bought me a coffee this last week. It's very much appreciated, Mandingos. There's your names down there and down there. Each and every one of you is an absolute legend. You know it makes sense. Cheers, guys. And this is absolutely unbelievable. Mm. Okay then. I'm going to enjoy this, this food. And when I bring your mandingos back, I'll be nice and snug in the sleeping bag, ready to watch a movie and get some sleep. Rice. Right guys, it's time to say a good night. It's been an absolutely fantastic night. I've loved it. I hope you guys have enjoyed sitting there, listening to me, waffle on. It's been brilliant. I've had nice whiskey, nice food, a few canned dingoes of cider. Can I bait it, can you? Messi's in the sleeping bag. He's down the bottom, Keep my feet nice and warm. He's like a nice little furry hot water bottle <laughs> you better believe he is I can't believe how much of a chilled out camp this has been <clears throat> with it being an urban one I thought it was going to be a bit more sketchy um, it could have went the other way at that point when I'm looking across the road and walk up to the garages someone could have come over and said are you mate you had to move on, but obviously no one was looking. I got away with it, and it's just been totally relaxed. It's been probably one of the best stealth cams so far. For me, you know, like off camera, when I'm not recording, and I'm just sitting relaxing, I've got the tent down on a nice grassy flat spot. Anyway, that's enough of me waffling on. You've had enough of that in this video. Right guys, I'm going to say good night. I'll see you in the morning. I'm going to sit now and watch something shite on YouTube. Some random program, I don't know. I'll pick something in a minute and I'll just drift off and um, I'll see you at coffee time. You know it makes sense. See you in the morning. Rice. Good morning, man, dingoes. It's a marathon. Hmm, need to put a dog on here. Oh. Oh, all right, son, all right. Oh, yep. Yeah. It's 8.30, anyway, 8.35, I've probably slept a little bit too good, but I'm not going to complain about that. Little messy dingo. You pumping? <laughs> little messy is dying for a wee, that's why he's kissing us. So, we're going to quickly pop out, have a slash Gordon. And then we'll pack up and go to Dodge City. Bring you back in a second.
Oh, Mason. Right, how then? Let's get packed away. Missy's waiting patiently to go. That's where my tent was, guys. You can see there. It's far too much rubbish for me to even think about picking any up. I'll be here for another couple hours. But I've got mine. There's all my litter there. Bags all packed. Ready to make a move for it. I'm just going to give a minute because it sounds like someone's just round the corner at the garages. They'll be getting the car out and going out somewhere. So. I mean, there's a church through there as well. So that's probably going to get active soon. You've got a school football field just over there. So there'll probably be loads of lads turning up to play footy soon. Right then, Mandingos, I'll bring you back when I'm making a move for it. Right, the course seems to be clear. Time to make a move for it. I'll just get the hold of the dog here. Yeah, son. Right. Two seconds, guys. So I'm holding the dog with one hand. I've got my bag of litter and my camera in the other hand. Right, how are they? Let's just walk out of here without a care in the world. No one around. Looks like it's going to be a football match over there. Here we go. No one's seen us coming in. No one's seen us coming out. Another successful stealth camp. Ho oh, ho, you know what I'm talking about. So that's it, folks. That's the end of this week's stealth camping video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've had a great time as usual. I've really enjoyed having my little dog, Messi, out with me. I might bring him out on a few more stealth camps. Let us know in the comments if you want to see more of my little dog, Messi. Um, next week, I'll be back out with the two Chris's. We're going over the Lake District. We're going to do some mountain hiking, but once we've done that, we're going to camp in the back of my old rusty work van and we'll have some drinks as usual, cook some nice food, do a world famous Waski review. Yes, we'll not leave that out. How are son? And um, we'll just have a good laugh. So remember to tune into that one, guys. It's something a little bit different for what you have been watching the last few weeks. And then the next three weeks after that, I'll be back out stealth camping either by myself or with little Mick walkie dokie then if you've enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up leave a comment I do read everyone I know I haven't got the time to reply to everyone but I do read everyone um how was son god he's had about he's had about 50 ways yep that's it till next week mandingos hopefully I'll see you then oh, oh yeah you know what I'm talking about. Lice. Oh, oh, Mason.